Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. So I got a new goodie today and I thought I would try a different vantage point on my, my unboxings because you guys can't see me on the other ones. And uh, these got delivered today and I started to open them up excitingly and I said, wait, 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 I need to do a video here. Um, I got my Kimber Axios cable for my HD 600 headphones. I've never talked about my headphones in any of my videos because I'm really not a heavy headphone user, a very light headphone user. Um, obviously with the system I have, um, I would only need to use these late, late at night if I really wanna hear music loud, which um, honestly I, got, I have really good insulation here, but every once in a while I need to use those headphones. I even use them in my iPhone a lot of times when I'm maybe falling asleep and I just wanna jam out to something that's a little bit better quality than my um, earbuds. So um, here they are. I want to do an unboxing with you, but I also wanted to explain to you guys why I did what I did here, because uh, I'm, I'm not going to do a full review on these. They've been out forever. The Sennheiser HD 600s uh, were discontinued at one point for the 650s, and the um, out, outcry was so large that they brought them back and started making them again. Uh, these seem to be the go-to. Now, obviously, I've had the uh, privilege of working in audio stores where I can try other headphones. Um, I've tried Audis, Hi-Fi Man, um, Focal, Sonus Faber, Macintosh. Uh, I've always gone back to these guys. Um, there's just something about the neutrality of these. If you look in, in reviews, you'll see why I'm saying this. I'm not the only one to say this. This has been kind of back in the day, this was the headphone that all were measured by. Uh, very neutral, but not clinical. Uh, nice bass, not bloated and real heavy. That's Heiser sweet, um, not too bright. It just has this neutrality to it without sounding clinical. So everything sounds right. Um, anytime I try to switch to something else, the bass is too loud or the mid range is too forward. They're not comfortable. They're too large. I don't want cans on my head, right? Um, so these I can wear for a long, long time, a couple hours and not get any um, uh, uh, issues with my bald head. And the uh, I never get listening fatigue. So that's why I chose these. Now they were $400 uh, when they were new, maybe even 500 back in the day when they were new, but you can get them now for 350, 300, which is a smoking deal. If you guys ever need a really nice headphone, get these. So why would I spend $1,000 on a uh, $400, $500 set of, hey, $300 set of headphones? It's, it's similar to my friend uh, who I ran a store with back in Vegas. Um, he had a Subaru STI. And the Subaru STI um, that he had was probably retail worth about 25 grand. And he has about 40, 50,000 dollars in engine mods in it. And uh, it's crazy, right? But what that car does and how it performs, it beats Corvettes. And uh, he loves the brand. He loves the feel of the car. He loves the vicinity. He loves the steering. He loves the all-wheel drive. Everything about that vehicle, that old Subaru STI. Um, he wouldn't part with it. So he chose to make it better with the engine mods. Um, that's how I feel about these. They're my go-tos every time. And how can I make them better? Um, sure, I could go out and spend $1,000 on another set of headphones, yeah. But they're not gonna have the same comfort. They're not gonna have that same signature sound that I love so much. And it's kind of like that with my Sonos Fobbers. Um, if I switch to something else, eh, I always like that Sonos Fobber sound. Very natural, very musical. Uh, uh, romantic without being uh, too warm, right? Um, uh, very sweet highs without being too clinical. The, the newer stuff, the older stuff obviously was very colored, but the newer Sonos Faber, I really like the sound, it's very musical. And that's how it is with these. So that's why I spent $1,000 on a, on, a, on a set of headphones that were 350 to 500. So I don't have a problem doing that because if I can make these things sound better, I've had them for years, if I can make these sound better, I'm gonna do it. So with that, I hope that analogy gives you an understanding of why uh, dollars per fund, right? When it comes to what we spend, it doesn't matter if it's a high-end golf club or a carbon fiber fishing rod, or, you know, you understand my point. It doesn't matter what hobby it is or whatever you're into. Oftentimes we take what we already have and we upgrade it, make it better. And this is what I'm doing. So on with the unboxing, I'm gonna stay at this level but just like seeing you guys on the camera instead of having you stare at my shirt while I'm doing unboxings. 
So you know me by now, right? Um, obviously the Kimber packaging, you can see there, they label what it is. This is the Axios and I got the all copper. Um, honestly, you're talking a couple grand for the silver and the, and the copper. And at that point, I, you know, I don't need that watch. I'll have it in a month. But anyway, um, typical Kimber hard shell case. I love it. Very good. Let's open this up together because I've not seen these. The awesome packaging as always. This cable's beautiful. I, I did go last night and look uh, at, at some reviews of these and um, it's great. It's great seeing how many people are complimenting these cables on Sony's, you know, everything. It doesn't matter what it is. They're performing in at to high standards on all, all different brands. So as usual, we're gonna take the wonderful Kimber Cable Wax Seal off of here. We're gonna open it up and see what's inside. So once again, they, they're consistent with their literature. You have the Select Series, which I have for their speaker cables and interconnects. Uh, the information on the um, Axios. I'll tell you, you know, this reminds me, they're showing the, the, the Met, Met, is it Meza? Uh, yeah, Met, Meza Audio. Um, I, I, they have some killer, killer headphones. Um, when I, I tried it, I can't remember the Meza 99 or the 150, it was about $150, probably the Meza 99, I think it was called. Very close to the HD 600. I think the HD 600 had a little bit more inner detail, but uh, that same signature sound was, it was very close. So yeah, I could, I could do a set of Meza headphones for sure. Um, I believe that they are made in um, Romania. Yeah, cool, cool company. Um, then we have some carbon literature. I am possibly, guys, looking at getting a carbon uh, subwoofer cable. Uh, news has it that uh, they're doing a, a uh, subwoofer cable in the carbon. Okay, and over here we have, I'm going to embarrass myself and put my glasses on. It says, uh, Certificate of Authenticity. This certificate guarantees the Axios cable you have purchased was hand-built and tested in our factory in Ogden, Utah. And then we have the, uh, looks like it says TF for the uh, manufacturer. But again, isn't that cool? They got the wax cable. Pretty darn cool. Um, they do give you instruction on how not to yank out the uh, cable out of your Sennheisers. <laughs> uh, when unplugging cable, do not pull the cable itself. Instead, firmly grip the connector. So um, I think we all know how to do that, but obviously not if they're having to tell us. And then we have the um, information on the Axio. So looks like we've got information on the uh, the copper. There's the, they're showing the Sony ends, and then the uh, Axios HB, the Axios AG. So you got the hybrid silver and copper, and you got all silver. Then we talk about the braided geometry, uh, the quality of the copper. Uh, this is a true reference cable suitable for use with today's most demanding and revealing headphones. Michael Mercer, the absolute sound, hi-fi ultimate headphone guide. So the uh, hand finished wood accents, I'll show you, I'll show you that obviously when I open it. And then we have the pricing and all the different connectors. Now I went with the smaller, what is it? 3.5 instead of the quarter, um, because I do have an adapter and it's, um, it's over here. So I'm gonna see if this fits it. I did not ask him that, and goodness gracious, I hope so. So it looks like this is the um, nickel plating on this one here. I do have a gold plated, plated adapter. So let's uh, take the connectors close. So these are actually made of wood, guys. The connectors for the left and right, they are made of wood. And you actually have the Kimber logo in there as well. And they are labeled for a big L and a big R for left and right, so you can't get them mixed up. Very light cable. Actually, it's not that light when you really, I'm used to hold my, my speaker cables. This is actually um, much better quality. And man, I can't stop staring at it. Look at this end here. It's like actual, actual black wood. It says Axios engraved on there. Hope you guys can see that clear enough. I'm not shaking too much. Just had a coffee. 
So basically, um, it's pretty cut and dry on the installation. I'm, I'm not gonna install these right now because I'm gonna um, use my contact cleaner on these, but you just pull at the, at the cable end here and these pop right out. And then you have the uh, new cable that will actually stick in here. It's gonna be kind of cool because it's black. It's gonna match the uh, headphone itself aesthetic aesthetically. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is clean these. I'm gonna burn them in for 200, hour, 200 hours and uh, absolutely burn in. That's a whole nother video, right? Burn in is a true thing. And um, I'm gonna be, you'll probably see that video before this one, but I'm gonna uh, talk about the uh, select uh, KS, what is it, 2021? I can't remember the number on that one, but my uh, pure digital uh, uh, coax cable. I'm gonna give you guys the highlights of how that thing burned in. It took days and days and days, but you'll see that video before this one, so you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? So with that, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I just did not wanna open this thing without showing you guys. Um, I'm so excited to hear the level that's gonna take my headphones. I've wanted this thing for a long time. I actually first heard these on a set of Focals, uh, Utopias. Um, it's, it's been a while, but uh, I, I a beat them on a Macintosh, high-end Macintosh uh, C2600 preamp um, with a set of Focals and immediately heard a difference from the stock cord and the Focal cord was really nice. So I know this is gonna make an improvement. Okay, so with that, it's a privilege to be able to share another video with you guys. Um, I promise you I won't put anything in the system without showing you guys first and giving you my experience on it because that's what we do here on the channel now. So thank you for subscribing. We're gonna hit 4,000 subscribers tonight. Uh, what a blessing and a privilege to be able to share my hobby with you guys, um, to hear about your equipment, your experiences. It's incredible. This uh, little hobby turned out to be a really cool channel to share with you guys and I've made some great friends. Um, three people in Seattle have reached out to me. Uh, one, one gentleman in Lower Queen Anne, um, Colin, he's got uh, some tube gear. I can't wait to uh, meet him and hear that. So uh, we will talk to you guys in the next video. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.